Hi, my name is Steele, the National Sales Manager at Kilgore International. One of the biggest questions we get from instructors is, how do we get our students to effectively communicate in front of patients? You know, they have your program with a great education and all these skills, but how can we get them to kind of take that next step and communicate effectively in front of the patients about why treatment's important? So today, we're gonna to show you the top three perio patient education models to help build those skills for your students. All right, so we're going to start with the number three perio patient education model. This one's great. You know, implants are becoming more and more popular. So this one's awesome to use in front of the patients to explain different things such as, hey, we have a normal situation here. This is where we want to stay. You come see us two or three times a year because we're experts at taking care of your implant and cleaning around that area. Otherwise, what will happen, if we don't get you on the calendar, is that over time, you'll have some recession. So the early stages, the moderate stages, you'll have more recession, more bone loss. And if we get to the advanced stages, we're going to have that mobility in the implant right there, and we can even lose the implant. So this is a great model for your students to effectively explain, hey, why do we take care of these implants? I'm an expert in it. We'll take care of it. And this is why you need to get on the calendar two, three times a year. All right, so this is the number two perio model for patient education. It's such a great resource. It's the stages of perio. All the way from a normal situation where you have this healthy tissue. This is where you want to be. Then you can show the gingivitis. So you show the inflammation in the tissue, early, moderate, advanced. The more bone and tissue we lose, which is a great feature here on the backside, the more mobility we're gonna have. So you actually can show how these teeth are mobile. You even here have occlusal trauma as well. So really just an overall tool to sit there and explain to a patient, no matter what stage they're in, about why they need perio treatment and for what reasons. And it's just a great tool for your students. All right, here's the number one perio model for patient education, and here's why. What I like about this model is all four quadrants open up. So on this first quadrant here, the upper right, you can show the progression sign. Say this is going to be a bone loss that we have right now. All right, this may be not a big deal, but if we don't start treatments now, this is where we're heading. So here you can see how severe the bone loss is. You have mobility aspect. Right now our teeth are stable over here. Right, but if we don't start treatments, you know, now we're going to have mobility. What I like about it is each one of these teeth are mobile too. You can show the frication of the back molar. You have calculus, sub, and supergingival. What I like about it too is you also have this edentulous area as well. So this edentulous area is key because now you explain to the patient not only the perio, but say, look, if we don't fix this edentulous area with either an implant or a bridge, either this is going to tip forward, so you can have that mesial drift, the back molar, or this one's going to drop down. You know, now you have that super eruption. So then you kind of your student kind of explain uh, to a patient why those things are important. And what I also like about it too is that for the lower portion, you do have a healthy side down here, right? So you can show, uh, of course, what a bone level should look like, and then you have the severe side as well. So severe side again is subsupral gingival calculus mobility aspect, and then when they get done, the gingivus tucks away. So what I love about this model is you can explain almost every aspect to it, and it's very real to a patient. So it's very tangible, and it's something that uh, your students can learn from and effectively communicate in front of those patients like they need to. And if you like the video, be sure to like, subscribe to our channel to get all our future content. We appreciate your support. I hope these three perio models help elevate your students' communication skills with your patients. Thank you, we'll see you again next time.